this is forward reverse volume control that's the kill switch we're saying that's your kill switch so what is remote what is that's remote and that's local or how do you in the middle is remote in the middle is remote so either up or down is local right. gotcha down, just... down is local up is remote oh i got you down is local up here is remote for this plug and okay in the middle is for for remote okay where can you acquire one of these guys if you have a native one you just you unscrew right there and then uh you got a a wire line right and you call swing and they give you a there's a special end that goes in there yeah, I know that. The old guy we used to work for on one of these, he just had so f***ing rigged up. It was on extension cord he had wired. It was a f***ing toggle switch. <laughs> I was like, what? Because our remote quit working one day. He was like, you gotta, you gotta run the switch. So I was like, what are you talking about? Yep. I think you guys with a piece of wire. <laughs> That's basically the way it was in the whole lot. It just stopped. So basically, yeah. It's yeah. the same thing. So, which are the ports on this machine, Harold? So he had to, when when he greases it every day. Because this one is quite different than his Putzmeister. Two for your back, and then one for your collar, for your shift collar. Yep. And then you got your agitator on both sides. And then you got your front bearings here. Yep. I put it's new fittings in there and check them. They do for you. Put new fittings all the way around. They had painted over from the enemy. Awesome. Now, how does he activate the agitator? The, the, in the other side? Okay. Oh, right here. I see it. Okay, perfect. All right, she's. You, you got your drain on your bottom of your tank for your hydraulic. For your hydraulic. Mm -hmm. You're draining. That's a water drain. Like a water slipper or actually draining your hydraulic. Draining your hydraulic fluid, but that's the low part of the tank. So in the morning, you just give a little. Yeah. Remember, you, you know, the tank gets hot and cold, you kind of think the foundation goes down into a low yeah. I forgot about that last time you did it, didn't you? And I actually last week we were looking at the side right now, I thought that was kind of cloudy. It's not cloudy, but... So the push, you do the same thing? Yep. Right, the yeah, exactly. And every week you do it once. Basically, the condensation in the tank lowers all the way down. The water lowers all the way down to the bottom of the tank when it's cold. I need to get home and do that. Then get your bearing putties and your axle. For the, uh, for the grease. Is it welded or is it just painted in? It's uh, bent sideways. All right, we'll 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 get it out of there. Yeah, we'll beat it out of there if anything. All righty. Now, there's a kill switch on the battery, no? Harold? Yeah, yeah. Here, just rip off the negative. Okay, like a boat. So that's just killing all power. That's right. Nothing will work. How often would you flush your entire battery? We could use an 8746. Um, what they were using, I have, I think it was a pretty W32 between the 32 and the 46, so you should get about 4,000 pounds out of it. Okay. Uh, no, it's not long. Yeah. It yeah, but the filter you change it every 250 hours. The actual filter. Exactly. Awesome. All right, let's put some pressure on her. Let's see her in action. <laughs> 